Hello everybody and welcome back to Staxel where oh it looks like we're trying to make a load more salads here. I'm trying to remember what we're doing at the moment. Did I have any more cake mix to make into cakes? That's the next thing. Butter, I've got loads of stuff. I've got a fossil polisher nowadays. I need to put that down somewhere, don't I? That would go in this part of the of the room, I would say. So that would mean actually probably possibly this side. No, I'll have it. In fact, I could have it outside somewhere. Could have it in the yard. Okay, so we can polish fossils now. So let's have a quick look at that, shall we? Pop these 23 fossils that I have into here and see what we get out of the other end. Maybe things that I could put into the museum, which would be pretty cool. Okay, and we also have a crate full of stuff today. Um, I'll open it. So we have two chickens, a pig and a sheep in a crate. Now, I still gotta need some naming forms and things, but I believe that I've only got one name left from people in my uh, Patreon that have actually asked for a name. And then I will be going through and just checking out all the other people that have not asked for a name. Let's just get one anyway. I think I make, I think I was gonna make ham sandwiches or something out of these bread slices. I'm pretty sure that was gonna happen. So let's pop these guys down, shall we? So we have another sheep. And this sheep is a blue sheep. We also have another pig. And this one is a pink pig. Oh, I love that they're all different colours. Oh, aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful sheepy? And aren't you a beautiful piggy? Yes. I'll have to make sure that they're all fed and everything and pick up after them and, and all the usual stuff. But yeah, we're starting to get somewhere with all this now. We put these these new chickies down, shall we? And we're get, gonna definitely need um, some more chicken feeders. <laughs> well, people um, in my Porsche comments, there's just a load of comments popped up, which I hate when that happens halfway. Like I'm literally two minutes into recording. Why does it decide to pop them up now and not like when they actually came up? Why did that suddenly happen? It's so weird. But I wonder if I can just quickly shut them down. Oh yes, I could. I could and I didn't ruin my recording. So bear with me with that one, guys. Now then, we need to water these. I'm hoping I, I've been remembering to water these because uh, they're not going to be done by the end of summer if I'm if I'm not careful. And I, I can't remember whether the last episode I, I even remembered to water them. But we'll carry on watering them just in case I have remembered to water them and I do get a harvest by the end. Could be quite bad otherwise. And like always, I just water the whole patch just in case I miss anything. I'd rather overwater than underwater. But fingers crossed it was either raining. It might have just been raining and that might be why I don't remember watering. And also I haven't played in a while, so as you guys might have noticed. It's uh, basically I'm trying to get back on track with things and, and keep everything going while trying to do streaming at the moment. So I hope you guys uh, that have been attending my streams have been enjoying them, enjoying the extra interaction that you can get with me when you're in stream chat which is a little bit more real time than you can with YouTube. So that's always really nice. But it just, one of these things when you make a big transition and change the way you work, it can sometimes affect other things. So I hope you guys don't mind that there's been a little bit of a delay in some of these um, videos, a little bit more of a gap than usual. On top of that, you have had more stream content to look at as well, so. It's not all been not all been getting less, it's mostly been getting more, hopefully. Even those of you that can't come to the streams can actually watch the, uh, 
the other footage and healer's quest I, th I think is the most hilarious thing i've ever ever played it's just so funny and so right and so true okay so i think we'll just water everything while we're doing watering anyway don't need to water the trees which is a really nice thing because the less i have to do watering and animal tending and things like that the more i can do building so was very nice. I did a lovely, uh, it was a colony management stream, uh, sorry, colony survival, which I did some videos on like a wee while back. I think you guys, if you've been on the channel for a while, might remember that. And yeah, we went back into it and oh, it's come a long, a long way actually. And I just spent like an entire massive stream just building a, a, like a little castle. It was amazing. Loved it. No, it, looked, it looked such a bad castle at the beginning and then it, it you know just sort of came on as I did more to it. Here we are. Wonderful, so that's all of those done, all of those done. These guys still, we're almost into autumn now. They've taken almost the whole of summer to grow. I Actually, I don't think they have. I think I planted them later on. We do need to plant some more stuff, I think, pretty soon. Uh, and I need to try and plant things that are, I probably have bought seeds. I'll have a look in a second. Need to really be looking at stuff that um, isn't going to... I've got 15 sunflowers that isn't going to die in the middle. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a ton of sugar cane. And the reason I will have done that is that sugar cane grows in summer and autumn. So that's going to be obviously to just pop down here. And I just fill out all of these spaces. So I, I thought ahead. You see. Thank you, past G Lab. wonderful so that's two of them planted i obviously bought enough for all four of these and the more sugar i can get the more things like cake i can make and cake is actually quite lucrative so i'm quite happy with that i'm sat here with like 25 grand in the bank actually so if i do need to do any more building or anything i should be able to buy quite a lot of bricks oh what did you bring me tilly oh oh hang on oh good grief look at all this um um okay uh all the fossils uh I, I need more room to pick them all up i need to go and put them in the museum okay i'll plant these and that'll give me another space and i'll make sure they're all watered and everything the animals it's not so much of a worry if like one day i don't you know pet them or something like that or pick up their stuff um, I did pick up the eggs already, so I can go and shear them and stuff later in the day. But I do worry about forgetting to water the crops because they can, that can really cause issues. And it doesn't even take that long to water them either compared to a lot of games where there's literally a, a sort of false pause at every time you water one little thing. This you can just go boom, 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 boom. I was like, oh, Tilly, you bought me loads of presents. So I realised that's all the fossils that I just planted planted that I just polished in my polishing machine I suppose most things in this game you do plant you just don't plant the fossils that would be silly we are all watered all lovely we are still looking at needing to put stuff in this space here I might do that with some sunflowers um I did have pear trees still to plant as well, but they're fruiting in the winter and grows in 18 days. So I was probably thinking, well, I can just do those in a, in a little bit. That won't be a problem. Loads of sugar cane as well, which we can boil down. So many bits of dinosaurs and stuff. Oh my goodness, this dinosaur polishing thing is so cool. Dinosaur polishing? The fossil polisher is so cool. Uh, so these need to go into... 
boiling pots. And I'm kind of hoping that they will just carry on. Yeah, it will. Cool. Very, very good. There's no way I'm going to be able to pick up all this stuff. I mean, do I have to combine all these to make like a full fossil or something? Or do I just, can I just place them on the floor? Like. Loads of cool stuff, haven't we? Mysterious foot. Just stick them all in my yard and see, see if I can make things out of them. That's another one of those guys. Another little footprinty thing. There's a tail here. I might be able to get a whole dinosaur eventually. Yeah, I had someone, uh, lots of people saying, um, don't marry poorly in, in uh, Portia, marry Dr. Zhu or Arlo. It's like, just because they're the favourite, most popular ones, uh, that doesn't mean I have to, I have to marry them. This is not an arranged marriage. another tail here. I reckon this tail might be for the this guy. No, no, that's not that guy's tail. So what is that one? I'm just putting them all down just to, just to play with them really and see because I haven't had anything. An unknown egg, a mammoth upper. T-Rex head. Oh, I think we got the T-Rex over here. This is the T-Rex. The one that's slightly more upright. Not sure about that, actually. <laughs> I don't know if they're meant to go together, really, uh, or not. We'll, we'll have to see. This is a mammoth. Was that one maybe part of a mammoth instead? Oh, I'm going to have to break it and see what it actually is meant to be. I wasn't really doing that. I, I didn't realise there was quite so many different dinosaurs you could get. Oh my goodness. So many dinosaurs. Okay, so. What is that? Mammoth lower body. Right. So they've got the mammoth over here. And the mammoth lower body is probably going to be... Over here. I don't know, it could be that. I don't know if it has like an upper body. Like a midsection to its body or whether it's just that. We'll, we'll see. If we get any midsections, we can always move that along a bit. That's definitely a head and tail of something. Oh, you know what? That honestly looks like that could be the T-Rex. Three T-Rex sections. Let's see if they fit together nicely. Yeah, look, we've got a whole T-Rex. I don't think that, I think that mam mammoth is gonna have extra bits to it. Whose tail is that then? That is a terror right wing. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a stego, stego, I think. But I'm gonna have to Stegosaurus lower, yeah. Thought it was. It's amazing. We'll be able to make a really cool museum. I, I may move the museum eventually anyway, but it clearly needs to be quite big if all these are gonna be outside. Maybe we could give the museum like a big yard where like with a, some nice flooring, but all these are like outside. That might be a good good way to do it.
Oh gosh, I really hope that... Uh, I'm just going to put these down. I really hope I'm not going to, like... They're not despawning or anything. The Predator. So this is what we've got so far. A bit of a Stegosaurus. We've got some more things that we can actually put through as well. Some more fossils over here. This is pretty awesome. I like this uh, this bit of the update. We do have some tree growth as well. Fantastic. And we'll be planting those pear trees pretty soon as well. I know I haven't done anything with the animals today. I've been playing with bones all day. Um, but, but it's cool. It's all new stuff. It's all new and awesome stuff that I'm really happy with. So what are we going to do? Going to, right, first thing I'm going to actually do is um, pop over here. I'm going to put these... I'm going to go order some more sunflowers. I'm going to order 15 more sunflower seeds. Sunflower seed. Times 15. Order those for tomorrow. I haven't made very much money at all today, unfortunately. I mean, I could maybe go and make a few salads before I completely collapse, but... My inventory's full, apparently. Let's go put this dinosaur wing down. Then we can pick up salads at least. Uh, I always get so sidetracked in this game, but it's cool. I don't know why it's all squishy. I'll go get all the tomatoes and put them on here. So basically this whole combining station is just dedicated to making loads of salads. Because salads are healthy and also make me tons of money. Probably because it takes me a whole year to get the ingredients together for them. Okay, I'm not going to have much more time, I don't think. So if we pop those down. So that's another 14,000. Just from all the salads that we've made. And then we'll do another day. I do need to get some naming forms for these uh, these new animals as well. We do have four new animals. That we can do things with. But I'm pretty excited by these fossils now. They are very exciting. Right, let's go check on these watermelons, see how they're doing. We are on the, the very... We have one more day where they could possibly... We might make it. So let's water them. And hope for the best. And again, I just water the entire field because I... I'm pretty sure you only have to water the actual plant itself, but you never know. I do have a strong suspicion that I've at some point forgotten to water them enough that it's going to mean that they don't ripen in time. Which is a shame. Because I, I have kind of looked after them quite a lot. But it might not be enough. But I'm, I'm still uncertain, so for the sake of watering them once more, I'm not going to risk them not ripening. They've got quite a long way, and at least we'll be able to see what they look like. You see how they how they're planted, you can see what they look like when they grow a little bit, and we might be able to see what they look like when they've harvested and how much they sell for. Still got some blank patches and see. This is the nice thing about watering um, earlier in the day. Come on. I'm pouring water right on that thing. Yeah, the nice thing about watering earlier in the day is that you can see any, like, gaps that you've left. Come on. Let me water you. They are a bit strange in the way that, that you water, actually. Come on. Right, I think that's the lot. Oh, no, one there. Oh, look at these guys. They're still growing healthily. 
These guys are still growing healthily. Not seeing any cucumbers yet on those. The tomatoes are ready for a harvest though. And then we can go back to making dinosaurs. I'll probably take the smaller exhibits and put them into the museum. Um, the museum slash patisserie. We still need to work on that quite a lot. There's a few things we need to do. But, you know, I'm mostly at the moment waiting. The, the only real thing that I feel that, as far as gameplay mechanics is concerned, that we haven't really explored, other than obviously now we've got all the dinosaurs and things, is, um, yeah, letting getting a new villager to move in would be a cool thing to do. And I think we could do it. We could build Oscar's home without too much issue now. And uh, the other thing that we need to do is to wait for these trees to grow and see what harvesting trees is like and see what recipes we can make out of it and things like that. I will probably now, I've got a lot of money coming in from all these salads, I'll probably start um, looking at different recipes like chocolate cake and things like that. Carrot cake. Because why not? I definitely think that uh, for a game where you just want to chill out and relax and build and farm and things like that, this is amazing. The only thing it's a little bit lacking in at the moment is story. But I do feel that, that that's something that the devs seem to be working on. Now they've got the, the very base mechanics in. They do seem to be working on things like the festivals. And, well, the festivals are already in, actually. And... Um, new quests and new new things that you can do with people but to be fair i don't go into town enough because i've been spending so much time on my farm i haven't spent enough time yet on all of that stuff all the social side of things so i do need to just make sure go in and do a bit more of that each day but i think before i do that i'm probably going to need to reduce the size of this farm actually What I might do is um, possibly start planting bushes or something down one half of it and then just have a small garden down the other. I'll probably get rid of the watermelon patch once the watermelons are ready. They are a bit of a pain, to be honest. Let's see, did we get any more fossils? Did we even put them in the polisher? Probably not. Got three more fossils we can put into the fossil polisher. Better than putting in like 30 at once. Although we did get some, some whole dinosaurs, which was pretty cool. We've got a whole T-Rex. Amazing. Is that a tyrannosaurus? Right, I'm just going to have a quick look here, right? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to pet all of my animals. Even if I don't really pick up after them or shear them or, or, or whatever, I'm going to at least go and see how they are and pet them. Ken is happy, happy, glowing with life, glowing with life, glowing with life, happy. Zenobia, that's a nice name. I might steal that. I'm not sure what for. If I just go check on them all, check that they're all happy with life. I might get a few more like pigs and cows and stuff and just see what kind of different colors I get. It looks like all the cows seem to be the same because we've got Zangiri and Buttercup and they're both very similar looking. But then there could be different colors for them. It might just be because they're my two cows that I got as my initial cows. You see. I've got some trough food there which I probably need to put into one of the troughs. have got trough, trough food in a couple of them. We've got pig food there. I think it'll need to go in here. And the pigs can carry on with their two two units of food. That's fine. Four, five. So there's six units of food for everybody else. That should be all right for like one day. Um, could go and have a look at the honey as well. Or have we we petted everybody. We haven't really milked though for ages. I don't know if that has any bad effect, which just means I don't get the milk. Not been seeing much bacon around lately, guys. Mind you, that pig is a brand new pig, so it probably will take a while. Let's see shearers. 
Shear the sheep. Alamo has no wool. Uh, Ixias probably will. You can see the difference. Ixias has like a nice curly, curly wool there, and that goes away once we shear it off. But yeah, I really like their little animal pen, but I definitely think it needs um, some sorting out. I definitely think that the wall needs replacing, possibly with just wood or something like that. I honestly think that that might be better. Just having a wooden fence around there, and I might even change the bar the actual barn walls themselves to be that brick, or put that brick somewhere else. I don't like it. I really just, I just can't get, get on with it, really. So we need one, two, three, four more orange steppy brick things. However, once these are pushed back, we might actually have a couple more anyway. So let's do, let's do some let's do some building. I know I'm all over the place today. I'm like, let's do this, let's do that. I've only got two spaces left in my inventory, and I've got loads of like fossils. Velociraptor tail. Have we got velociraptors yet? Are you a velociraptor? I need to check. Why is my hammer not in... No, I don't even need my hoe. Are you a velociraptor? No, you're a parasaur. Right, okay. Let's put down this egg as well. Can't really look at them or anything, can you? So let's see what we've got. So we've got the Velociraptor tail, Plesiosaur tail, Parasaur upper. So do we have any more Parasaur pieces? That's a Velociraptor piece. What are you? I've got a mammoth, I've got a T-Rex, I've got a parasaur. I've got a, I think that might be another T-Rex body. No, that's a Stegosaurus, sorry. I don't know what this one is, because I haven't been able to look. So this one is a Terra body, okay. So that's a Terra. That's a plesiosaur, that's a velociraptor. So those two tails are nothing that I've got already. Ah, oh, Tilly, you're in my way, go away. Actually, how are you? Glowing with life, that's good. That's what I want to hear. Mysterious footprint, plesio head and a terra left wing. Okay. So we'll put the terra left wing there. Hang on, did that not say it was a terror? Or was I making that up? No, that's a terror body, right, okay. So, let me pop that down, say, say here. I reckon the wings probably go to either side. pretty cool. My inventory's full. So you are... Tilly, why are you following me? Oh, she's as bad as real Tilly. Real Tilly follows me around all the time, wanting food and stuff. Terra left wing, right? So if we go to the left, it should kind of fit in. Like that. And I've got a Terra right wing somewhere. Terra right wing. I did have. It's on the floor. Terra right wing. Is that 
maybe how the terror is meant to look. Unless you can combine them. Also got a mysterious foot. The plesiosaur head. And a plesiosaur tail. I don't think we've got any raptors yet. Check on putting down the right thing. Let's take the Velociraptor's tail out, actually, just so that I know that there's only one tail. And that is your tail. So I'll go around there. There'll be something probably in the middle. So we have a what I think might be a complete mammoth, but might the mammoth might still have more of a middle to it. We've got a stego end. We've got a full T-Rex. We've got a plesiosaur. Sorry, we've got a um. What was that one? A parasaur. And then we've, I think we've got a whole terror there, possibly. There could be more to it, but I think that that's the whole one. Cool. Liking the fossils. So what have we got here then? Sunflower seeds. Oh, we need to plant all our sunflower seeds, don't we? Before the night time. I've actually quite enjoyed playing with the dinosaur bits today. That's been quite cool. Velociraptor's tail needs to go down somewhere and then I'll I'll see if I get more bits of it when I get some more fossils. Um, ah, they're, in, they're already there. I was looking for them and they were already there. Have I watered anything today? Or have I just been playing with dinosaurs all day? Even though I said I'd fix my barn roof. But no, I've been playing with dinosaurs. Because that's more fun. But it looks like the only thing I've possibly watered today is the uh, watermelon patch. Everything else I've just been like, nah, I won't bother with that today. I won't bother making any money today. I'm going to need money because I'm going to need to reseed all of this. Actually, no, I won't. Like, the majority of this will not need reseeding. Because the majority of this will last into autumn because I have planned it that way. Some flowers will last. The uh, eggplants will last, the sugar cane will last, the strawberries won't, so we'll need one thing for the strawberries. Um, the tomatoes, will, so we'll need three patches of something to replace the tomatoes because they will die off. Hopefully we might get one more tomato harvest out of them, if not, I'm not too worried. And the cucumbers will be gone as well, so we'll probably need about six patches worth of seeds. But that's not as bad as it could have been. Alright, have we done these? Yes, we've done these, yes, yes, I haven't done those. Maybe I did water already, I can't remember. No, I didn't, because I didn't do the tomatoes. And this is our last chance to get a tomato harvest. Possibly, I'm not sure. I think it's every two days you get tomatoes or something. Telly is driving me insane. I wonder if that's because Tilly has no food. This is the sort of thing real Tilly does when she has no food. She follows me around like... Yep, that's exactly what it is. But I've got quite a bit of pet food here for her. There you go, Tilly. So yes, I, I am uh, props to the dev on the real life like cat behaviour in this game. Because that is exactly what Tilly does. She's she, completely out of my hair at the moment. But if she was a bit hungry, she'd be on my desk, she'd be in my face. She That cat would not go hungry you know, through me forgetting to feed her because she would be like clawing to get into my room and then once I let her in she'd be like meow meow bra, 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 head boobs you're not gonna get to do anything I'm gonna sit on your mouse mat oh you're gonna go feed me now oh thank you very much so yes on the positive side I am always confident that my cat has had enough food on the downside it can get a bit annoying
So cats are the perfect pet for someone who's like not very good at remembering to feed something. I once had a cat bite me because it didn't want, because I hadn't, well, it wasn't a hard bite or anything, but it did. It bit me because I hadn't fed it quickly enough. And literally, I'd fed it when I woke up and like an hour later, it wanted more food. So it bit me. And I was just like, I'll do it in just a second once I put my my shoes on. And I was putting my shoes on and I chomp. Because in a cat's mind, they are the most important thing that you have to deal with in your day. Ah, silly cats. Well, it's nearly the end of another day. Um, so I'm going to just quickly do some more salad making. So I'm going to grab these pieces of salad and I'm going to pop these, um, these whole tomatoes on to be cut. I'm really glad that eating isn't in yet because otherwise I would have eaten half my crop by now. So that's ready to be chopped. We've got all these, wow. It immediately boils into white sugar. That's amazing. Sugar cane is so good. So I'll put the white sugar on the shelf because I am really, really hurting for space in my inventory at the moment. Mostly because it's full of dinosaur bits. I'll just pop down this um, like raptor tail. And I'm eventually going to put those in. As I say, maybe I, I'll make a big garden in the museum that will be like for all the... Um, like skeletons and stuff to go but I just want to see if I've got whole ones at the moment so that's why I'm like putting them all together like that so we'll see if we can make a few salads before bedtime again this is probably one of the slowest things that I can do in the game to make money because it's like it takes ages to combine things we'll be running out of tomatoes very shortly but then I've got a whole bunch more that I can just pop down so what we'll probably run out of first will actually be the uh, shredded cabbage. But we're coming into winter and guess what season that is? Cabbage growing season! So we'll have many, many more salads at the beginning of that growing season as well. And then spring will be here ready for the lettuces and we'll just carry on like that. So this combining table, as I say, will just constantly have salads on it. And I will never run out of money. As long as I can make salads and cakes, I will never run out of money. Oh, I didn't have time to go sell them today, but we'll go and sell them tomorrow. So anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. So I hope you enjoyed just watching me playing around with dinosaur bits. And I hope you will be back for the next one. So in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.